What is up, everybody? It's Larry back with you, and today I have for you um, some cases. Some cases for the LG G3. Now, these will work for any version of the LG G3. Uh, this one particular is the AT&T version. It'll work on the Verizon, uh, T-Mobile, Sprint, even the Korean versions for some of these. Well, actually, all of them will work unless you live in Korea because some of them do not have the antenna cutout that the Korean version has, where in Korea you can watch live TV on your LG G3, which I think is awesome, and I wish I had something like that in the States, but we don't. So, um, I've already unboxed these. I'll be honest with you guys. I did a video with the unboxing, and I was really unhappy how, they, how it came out. Uh, so, I am not going to show the unboxing. I am just going to give you guys a rundown of these cases. So, first... All of them are uh, Spigen, uh, or Spigen, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I say Spigen. So this one here is the Spigen Ultra Fit Smooth Black. Okay, now there is plenty of these versions. I'll leave links for everything that I'm showing you down in the description. Uh, and Amazon, at least at the time of this video, had them all in stock. Uh, and I was able to get them next day prime. So... Uh, this is the Ultra Fit, and it has that smooth, almost like a rubbery feel to it. Uh, here you can see some speech and brown branding on the side. For some reason, they type, they put autofocus here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'd rather say laser focus. That'd be cooler because this has laser focus. Here's your cutout for your dual flash. Here's your cutout for your laser. You have your cutout for your volume rocker, camera, and power button. Uh, along the top, you're wide open. This notch here is like what I was saying. Let's throw this on. It's like what I was saying. This is where your antenna would be in the Korean version of the phone, which I'm glad I saw uh, Danny uh, at Super Scientific and at Detroit Borgs and everybody who got the Korean version because I would have thought I had a... Um, case with a short shot anybody that knows anything about plastics and molding that looks like a short shot but it is not uh, that's where the plastic doesn't fill all the way in the mold to give you a little quick so and then you have your cutout for your speaker you're wide open like i said at the bottom wide open at the top and then you have a lip here so that you can go face down and be all right you have your cutout for your volume rocker and your power button one thing that I found that I have a hard time with with the LG G3 is getting used to this because I keep reaching around to the back and I always find my finger on the camera. So anyways, this is the Ultra Fit Smooth Black by Spigen. Easy on, easy off. Spigen, always high quality. One of my favorite case manufacturers um, out there. And these are probably the three that I usually go with uh, when I get a new phone first. Now this one we have here is the Ultra Hybrid um, by Spigen. And this one is has a clear plastic back. And then you have the, the, the color, there's multiple colors, but I have the metal slate um, here. And again, let me pop this in. Again, you have a lip on the front, about the same, maybe a little less than the Ultra Fit. But this side is, is, is soft and gives you a lot of grip. Um, I find this phone to be almost or as slippery as the uh, HTC One M8. Um, but, so, uh, a case to me is, is a must. You have your volume rocker cutout, all your normal cutouts. Um, this one you have protection on the bottom and the top though. Here is your cutout for your antenna, which you don't have. On this one, it looks a lot more um, odd, or a lot odder. Sorry, my English was horrible there. A lot, um, because there's nothing there, but you have a hole. So it's it's sort of weird, um, but, you know, I can deal with it. Cutouts at the bottoms. And the only thing I don't dig about this case is it is a fingerprint magnet. And you can see it all over. My greasy, greasy little hands are leaving stuff all over it. So I haven't used this one that much so far just for that reason alone. But 
Um, maybe you don't have greasy hands like I do, and it won't be an issue for it. So, that is the Ultra Hybrid Metal Slate by Spigen. Now, the last one that I have here is probably my favorite and is the one that I've been rocking um, since these came in. And yes, they jocked. That's an old school term for you young bucks. They jocked the style and the color of the electric blue from the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, but I have a speech in case just like this for my S5 because I do not have the electric blue. But this is the Slim Armor by Spigen uh, with air cushion technology which gives you some corner protection in case you drop it. Now this is a two piece case as you can see uh, but pretty much you use it as one and put it on as one. There you can see your inside the air cushion technology. This is uh, uh, anybody that's had this type of case knows that's the inside of what a what a quality Spigen case looks like. Um, not a fake, not a knockoff. I got my my uh, certificate of authenticity to prove it. I don't have it in front of me, but I guarantee it's real. So anyways, here you go. You have your bump uh, lip in front for laying it face down. You have, now you can see here, this is not a fingerprint magnet. It's It's got a, not a soft touch like this one does, like the Ultra Fit, but it does have a good feel to it. Uh, you got your cutouts here. All the same cutouts, flash, laser, camera, speaker. Then you got protection around the bottom with cutouts for your what you need, IR blaster, microphone, uh, microphone, three and a half millimeter headphone jack with a wide cutout so you can, you know, any of your wide headphone jacks will fit in there. Now I'm gonna tell you what I love about this case. Now it adds some bulk. You can see, you can see you got a little bulk there. Uh, not much weight, a little bit. But this phone's really light anyway, so I like adding a little bit of weight to it. Like I said, it's super slick, so I, I like having a case on there. But I'm going to tell you, this is my favorite part about this case. As you can see, there is a, a border or a separation wall in between the camera and your volume and power rock, uh, volume rocker and power button. Um, again, they got the autofocus right there. I still don't understand why that says autofocus. But... If somebody knows, leave it down below. I'm assuming they just wanted to put something there or they've had autofocus in this mold for a long time. I, I don't know. So anyways, but what I love is when I'm reaching around the back, I can feel where that slot is because it's not together like this one or like this one or with no case where they're right by each other. So when I reach on the back of this one, I know, okay, there's my power button. There's my volume up, my volume down. But I like knowing, I like that separation. I think that's something LG should have did in the original design of this phone. And I'll, I'll point that out when my full review uh, or my review, not a full review, but my review of this LG G3. I think there should have been something in there. And, and maybe with more more use, you get used to where your position is. And maybe, maybe if I start more towards the middle and just sort of bring my finger up, I would find it a little bit easier. But... Uh, my natural grip on it is to start off up here anyway. So, but that's my favorite feature of this phone is that little border right there. So, uh, anyways, guys, this is a quick video to show you three new cases for the LG G3 from uh, one of my favorite uh, case manufacturers, Spigen. Uh, you have the Slim Armor in electric blue. You have the Ultra Fit in smooth black. And you have the ultra hybrid and metal slate trim around the clear back. That's going to be it. I'm Larry. I will see you guys in the next video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe for more coverage of the LG G3. A lot of comparisons, a lot of in-depth looks, uh, video footage, camera footage. We got a ton of stuff going on. Make sure you subscribe. New phones are coming in next week. Uh, the OnePlus One should be here. Um, if you're watching this video late and everybody has the OnePlus One, know that right now it's very difficult to get the OnePlus One, so it's a big deal for me, so don't take it away in some crappy comment down there talking about how it's been out for six years and you just came across this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. We're out. Peace, we're out here. Like what he said.
He got first looks, reveals, and mad unboxings. Reviews telling you, is it bad or awesome? Should you spend your cash or is it best to save it? Leave a comment and debate it if it's tech related. Computers, Android, Apple, and tablets. If it's a gadget, then he has to have it. Watch for giveaways, hope you freaking heard that. Vlogs and gameplays from the Geeky Nerd Dad. There, if I hold my volume down, bam, I'm right into the camera app. Am I? I felt to vibrate. Oh, it's making me a liar. There's my quick note. I wonder why my camera isn't coming on. Maybe the battery died. <laughs> Miles said maybe the batteries died, but it did not. So, anyways.